Villains Attack in Justice League issue 10. So the third part in this story has actually taken a rather interesting turn that I actually never considered or even thought of. So the Justice League pay a visit to ex-hacker Jesse James's house and we discover that he actually has nothing to do with this whole AI killing. He invented the AI but he never got the code stolen or released the code to the public. Instead what he is actually doing is trying to steal money from places like LexCorp and Wayne Enterprises and to give it to the people who were most affected by the Kindred invasion since we find out that a lot of people in his neighborhood lost jobs and lost other family members as well. As we discover his daughter accidentally used the bit of code he wrote that can create a self-generating AI. The AI now disguised as a child iPad app signals the League's location to all if not most of their villains including Scarecrow, Giganta and Count Vertigo all whom converge on the house forcing the League to fight them throughout the neighborhood ending in the arrival of Amazo. This was a really great and much needed twist to this storyline which I thought was going to be what a generic sort of guy gets revenge storyline. I'm really interested to actually see what's going on now and it's great seeing these lesser known villains get some time to shine and actually fight the Justice League and you get that old school sort of villains versus heroes sort of thing. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys and I will see you all next time.